got my little form here. So if I go back, it just has one input field and it has a submit button. And I'm submitting it with a post method to this file called process.php. I've got my um, original checking in here just to make sure that it actually got submitted and to make sure that the stuff's not empty. Um, and now I want to do a little bit more cleanup and validation of what this person's submitting to make sure it's legit. So I'm going to add and write my own function called clean, and I'm going to show you how to do some, some cleaning of the input. And I just want to mess up here, so I'll just I'll have this clean the stuff that's coming out of the post array immediately, and we'll write this function called clean up here, and we'll give it value. And it's going to do some cleaning, and then finally at the end it's going to return the value. So it's going to edit the text that comes in from the post array. So one of the cleaning um, sort of sanitation commands that you can do is called trim. So let's do this. So I'm going to take my variable and I'm going to set it equal to a call to this trim function um, with itself. And this guy's job is to strip out extra white um, characters. So actually to make this obvious what it's doing, I want to echo um, stuff with um, asterisks next to it so you can actually see what it's what, what it's doing. And I'm going to actually remove this for a second. I want to run this without clean first so I can show you what shows up. Okay, so let's say uh, hello and then space, space, space. Okay, so this submits. Um, notice the space that I typed is sitting here and that can cause some problems if I am looking for a match of a particular thing, like if there's weird extra white space at the end. So if I put in trim in place, let me put my clean function back around this, trim is supposed to get rid of extra um, trailing white space. So here's my thing. I've got this extra white space at the end. Submit. See this time the space is not there, right? That asterisk is printing directly next to this thing, which means that trim has cleaned off the extra white space. So that's one cleanup thing I can do. Another thing I can do is work on backslashes. So right now, without any further actions taken, if I have some weird stuff in here like he backslash hello, that gets rendered on my page. And in this particular instance, it doesn't cause any trouble, but it might because backslash uh, stuff means escape sequences. So it could cause tabs or new lines that I don't want. And I generally just want to get rid of those things. So there's a function to do that. I'm just going to build my clean function using all these things. Um, and that function is called uh, strip slashes. Let me show you what it looks like now. So remember before it was rendering those slashes there. So I'll submit again. It has stripped out the slashes. It leaves the, the characters that come after them, but it gets rid of any backslashes. So that can't cause trouble. All right. Um, the next thing I might want to worry about is um, if someone puts like some HTML tags in here, like say they put a B, uh, then when it gets submitted and rendered on the page, this tags get rendered. And maybe I don't want to let that happen. So there's two ways to deal with it. Here's the first one. I could say um, HTML special characters. Let me show you what that does. So this guy, let me go back and forward again. Oh, what did I do wrong? My 13 special, did I spell it wrong? Chars, yes, it's just the word chars. Get ahead of myself here. All right. That simply takes the tags and turns them into plain text. So they don't do the action that the tags are supposed to do. It just makes them display. Um, mostly we don't want that because we don't want to see those guys. So there's an alternate version of this that will get rid of them entirely and it's strip tags. And that should remove them completely. So let's verify that that works. Here has my B and my B around my hello. Yes, tags are totally gone. So that'll get rid of the tags entirely.